Hi, I'm Greg Tomelli, ShaveAware founder and practitioner of a wet shaving routine that maximizes the number of shaves I derive from my disposable safety blades, but just as importantly, minimizes my shaving related water consumption and plastic waste generation. Lofty claims to be sure, but they're valid, so allow me to demonstrate. First, I'd like to show you what I have in my shaving kit. Well, this is the difference maker that allows me to make those lofty claims. This is Rascal, a first of its kind blade cleaner I invented that as you'll soon see, completely optimizes the wet shaving routine. The Rascal system is comprised of two components, this sophisticated nozzle and an ordinary squeeze bottle. Before each shave, the bottle is topped off with tap water, Rascal is threaded on, and it's ready to go. In use, Rascal is inverted, the blade is inserted into the slot, and with a quick squeeze, the money area of the blade, the surfaces of and the gaps between the cutting heads are completely clean and in optimal condition for shaving. And note that we've sized the slot to strike a balance between allowing for a margin of error when inserting and withdrawing the blade, but still maintaining a tight enough tolerance so that the blade can act as a drain plug of sorts to limit water loss in the inverted position. Well, let me show you how I use it. I keep Rascal on my countertop with the slot facing away from the sink. I'm right-handed. When it comes time for a clean, I transfer my razor to my left hand and with an assist from my left, rotate Rascal, insert, quick squeeze, and return Rascal back to its full and upright position. Now after a while, you'll become very adept at using Rascal. And I think you'll find that in a head-to-head -head comparison, using Rascal to clean your blade is quicker than using the tap. But if you factor in the multiple attempts that are necessary with the tap to come even remotely close to cleaning as effectively as Rascal, you'll find that Rascal is actually much quicker. Now in the product area of our site, you'll find a complete description of Rascal which sheds light on why it is so unique and effective. And we have a video that compares the time required to clean your blade with Rascal versus the tap. Check them out. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. For now, let me just say that Rascal is made of nylon 12, a durable material. And because it's monolithic with no moving parts or joints or seams to fail, it's made to last. Rascal's bottle is food grade HDPE and this first version of Rascal is compatible with Gillette's Mach 3 blades. Well, speaking of blades, for this demonstration, I pulled one out of retirement. It's a Mach 3 Turbo. Not the current version, but the one just prior. And you tell the difference by the number of stiffeners. This is the prior version with a single stiffener on the back. And this is the new version with three stiffeners on the back. But be assured, Rascal doesn't discriminate. It cleans both versions equally as effectively. Now this particular blade has 109 shaves on it. My average, or what I refer to as my optimal blade utility, is 104 shaves. Now to put that in perspective, shaving six days a week, 52 weeks a year, I use and therefore toss out just three blades a year. Now that kind of performance starts with blade quality, but even a high quality blade can't deliver that number of shaves unless it's maintained in a clean condition throughout the shave, which is where Rascal comes in, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Now in the interest of disclosure, I have tested the newer version of the Mach 3 blade along with those from some other manufacturers. Some flat out break after 15 shaves or so. Others don't offer the blade quality and, and become uncomfortable to shave with well ahead of the Mach 3. And in my experience, the newer version of the Mach 3 blade comes up short in terms of the number of shaves it delivers compared to the prior version. So not all blades are created equal. But the bottom line is, no matter which blade you're using, you have to maintain it in a clean condition while shaving in order to get the most out of it. 
Well, the next item in my kit is a beard brush, which I use to apply my shaving butter for two reasons. Explanation to follow as I'm using it. And then the last item is my shaving butter. I prefer butter simply because it does a better job of moisturizing than cream. Vanderhagen was the first and only butter that I've tested. It does a good job of moisturizing and it seems to be of just the right consistency to apply with a beard brush. So I've stuck with it. Okay, one last item of disclosure. We're not sponsored or supported in any way by Gillette or Vanderhagen. All right, well, let's pull it all together and I'll show you my routine. First, I'm gonna pull my personal rascal off from the sidelines. I like to prep my beard with hot water prior to shaving. But instead of turning on the tap and letting the water run down the drain until it gets hot, I use it to top off Rascal's bottle. Now that's about eight ounces of water. And that gets me to hot because I shave right after stepping out of the shower while my pipes are primed uh, for hot water. Now that step, in addition to water conservation, is important for two other reasons. One, my tap is now primed for hot water on demand for beard prep. And two, Rascal operates most efficiently when its bottle is topped off prior to each shave. I haven't lost control of my bladder. That's the sound of the sink draining into a measuring cup, so I can show you how much water I'm using uh, when we're done. Okay, it's time to lather up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I said, I apply my shaving butter with a beard brush for two reasons. One, it keeps me from having to rinse my hands, which saves on water. And two, in my experience, applying it with a brush Running my brush against the grain has the effect of lifting my beard, resulting in a cleaner cut with less pulling and therefore a closer, more comfortable shave. We're ready to go. Well, I break my shave down into four steps. Each half with the grain, and then each half against the grain, with the blade cleaning uh, following each step. And that's the important part for a total of four cleanings per shave. Okay, quick clean. Another clean. Okay, step three. I refer to this as the detail phase. My beard type, no matter how new the blade is, I cannot avoid this step. Okay, quick claim. Okay, I like it. One last clean. Let me show you how to clean. When we say 
rascal cleans your blade effectively, this is what we're talking about. Even the nooks and crannies where the cutting heads attach to the structure and that area behind the stiffener. Completely clean. If I may say so myself, if I had been using the tap to clean my blade or sloshing it around in a partially filled sink to get it that clean, I'd still be shaving. And note the, uh, that number, I did some testing uh, on these blades. This is just how we distinguished one blade from the other when we were doing those tests. Okay, well now it's time to rinse and clean up. And here too, you can conserve water. I prefer to rinse with cold water, but if you recall, my tap is primed for hot. So the first thing I do is give the structure of my blade a quick rinse, and then I clean the sink. And I can be this particular about cleaning because Rascal does such a good job of directing the beard stubble and shaving butter down the drain. Okay, time to rinse. Okay, that's what the Shave Aware wet shaving routine looks like. And let's see how I did on water consumption. Looks like about 19 ounces. Between 19 and 20 ounces. I'm really proud of that. And I hope that you too are inspired to limit your shaving related uh, water consumption. All right, well, let's recap. I just shaved with a blade that now has 110 shaves on it. My average blade utility is 104. And I achieved this by maintaining my blade in a clean condition throughout my shave. And nothing cleans a blade as effectively, efficiently, or quicker than Rascal. I used about 20 ounces of water, less than half of traditional wet shaving routines. I encourage you to check out our video on shaving related water conservation to see what just that difference means in the bigger picture. It's surprisingly impactful. And because I use and therefore toss out just three blades a year, my shaving related plastic waste is ultra low. So in summation, that is what a completely optimized wet shaving routine looks like. And it is why we maintain that with Rascal in your shaving kit and by making a few other refinements in your routine, you too can keep more money in your pocket, more water in the aquifer, more plastic out of the waste stream, and spend less time shaving. So come join the movement to a more sustainable and cost-effective wet shaving routine. You'll certainly benefit, but so too will the environment. Well, I'm gonna sign off now, but there's one last thing I'd like to do. I wanna grab the camera and show you that there are no shenanigans or sleight of hand going on in the cabinet regarding my water consumption. There you go, 20 ounces of water. Bingo, drain pipes disconnected. Now note that we definitely do not recommend that you incorporate this as a step in your shaving routine, at least not without the assistance of a plumber. Thanks for watching.